So how important is hydration and what types of strategies would you advise your players to adhere to to ensure that you start the game in a hydrated state? The hydration is a big focus and we'd be encouraging fluid intake and um, we'd be using science in sports electrolyte tabs just to add a little bit of flavour to the water and encourage the players to drink. Without hydration and your tablets and your water I think that definitely has an impact because you, you can get more tired, cramp up, so I'd say hydration is my most important before the game. It's really important that we don't just drink plain water all the time, that they drink some electrolyte containing fluids just to drive thirst and help retain some of those fluids in the muscle where they need it to do the work. In the hydration aspect with players is highly underestimated. When we're looking at their profile of uh, footballers, we've got Olympic sprinters and we've got marathon runners. They cover distances of anything between sort of 10 and 13 kilometres in a game. But scattered in, there's lots of sprints. One of the key determining factors that we find with players at the highest level is that ability to perform those repeated sprints on a, on a regular basis. Some of the guys can be having some pretty decent sweat losses in, in a game. They might lose like up to two kilos maybe. Even in the winter when it's cold, when they've got gloves on, they've got like a couple of layers on, their, their sweat rates are actually quite significant. So hydration's a, a big focus.